sasa mnaongea tu mtoe kwa mazishi. Ha? Kalonzo Musoka uliyekuwa king pin ya Wakamba. Kwani mimi si huko? I am the one. I am the voice of the Kamba community. And this that is in the mountain I'm the priest in charge I'm controlling this tribe. Amen. And that is why when I say I'm bringing the Kamba home they come home. Yeah. And they will lead you yourself at wanachaguliwa na waipa not at all. I will be teaching and telling the people how waipa democratic party is a confused party according to understanding. Unatumianga saa mbili waipa na mwafuli tuambie ni gani mwafuli kazi yake ni ya kuzuia mvua ukambani hata kutaki chama ya kuweka mafuli juu mm. na tunaona sisi atuzikima ngameo hata wakati mfela teremka amen itakuwa haki ni waipa na ikuwa ni mwafuli and because you are state council go to the court of law i challenge you na no, ni mumisha kama kuna watu na miss ukisikia nimekutaja jua amisi nyu even is missing nyu jua that god mungu amekuweka tu hivi na ninatakanga mtokee tukutane mahali watu wanaona i will show you what god can do the examination to wapatia the world will be left wondering Mimi mmekisonga ulikuwa kwa mazishi ya mama ya maanzo ulifanya kazi nzuri but i want to challenge you and i want to tell you hata wewe hata wewe hebu kumika kidogo saa hii nakupenda niko na kuna vile Mungu aliniambia kukuhusu thank you ulitaabishwa pale kila wakati kila wakati na huyu Kalonzo the same Kalonzo was there alikuwa pale kwa serikali kwa nini hapo kutetea unaenda Mombasa unataka kuwa governor unafanyiwa hapa ni nini hakuna kama yeye ndio kingpin na alikuwa zaidi ya koti moja na uhuru kwa nini hapo sema hiyo mambo ishi tusingizie tu alafu ukienda pale unajaribu kusema ukambani unachua Kalonzo akiwepo hakuna mtu atainuka kuwa rais nimesema katika anga ya ukambani kuna watu Mungu amejivitia wanaweza kuwa marais Kalonzo amekataa sauti ya Mungu na Mungu amekukataa. Amen. Ukitaka kukubalika na Mungu, you only need seek Apostle Nicholas Mugabe to give you the way forward. But as for now, you don't exist in the list of the people of the people to become a president in this nation in the Kamala. Amen. Uweso kasi sauti ya Mungu na huyo Mungu akushike mkono. Amen. Utaungaji mtu mkono aliyesema tukiona mvua ni makocho ya nani? Hebu ni waulize. Kenyans. Ile mvua imenyesha. Ni Mungu anakojoa bado. Sana. Ni Mungu anakojoa. Sana. Ndani moni masungumbu. Masekete. Marocha. Takataka nguvu. Roho takataka nguvu. Nyeusi. Tokomea. Mwaribike saitani nilipokuja kwako Nimeketi na wewe nikakuandikia message tukaongea kwa simu na nikakwambia aache kanonzo pale huko Mungu amekataa huo mlengo na wingu la ngizi imetanda na nikakwambia hautakuwa kile kitu umeaidiwa kama hiyo haiko timia ngojia round 2 nipatiwe na umi mlango wa pili nataka kusoma mateso haitainuka mara ya pili katika taifa la Kenya That is my message today. Affliction will, will not rise up again in the second time. Amen. Yale mapito tumepitia sababu ya watu wanaoabudu Illuminati na Freemasons hatutapitia katika taifa la Kenya. Amen. Kiona mtu anataka kusinzia chuna yeye nimekupa nafasi. 
Hata wale mnaniangalia. Bila naangalia channel ya Apostle Nicholas Mongela katika YouTube, katika TV na ukiona kizuizi hapo, chuna kidogo. Utalalaje? Mtu wa kweli wa Mungu akiongea. Naum. Naum. Chapter 1 and verse 9. Naum. Wana. Naum. Nitasoma. Mstari wa 9 nasema hivi. What do you imagine I can see the law? Ni nini manabii wa uongo? Na wachungaji in the name of preaching the gospel. In the name of picking one scripture and running with it. What are you imagining about this blessed nation of Kenya? Why are you predicting that it will not be well with this nation? We say you are worth a cancel. He will make an utter end. Fast see. I mean but see. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Amen. Amen. Ukiwa na kedhure kidiki na security forces listen to this word carefully this is not even for the president when i come tarehe tisa kuleta ile check na sandaka ya kiuna mbili kwa rais kuna mambo ya ndani sana kuhusu salama wa wakenya milioni 50 na mambo ambayo ni ya hekima sana yanayostahili kufanywa there is no fear in Zion. Amen. These are my instructions. Hapa na huyu mmoja tisa maandiko yanasema ni nini mnafikiria kumhusu Bwana? Na maandiko yanasema atanyamazisha kila mdomo na ataulete mwisho wake. Wakati wa upinzani ama watu fulani eh mlikuwa wapo miaka minne wao waliokuwa naitwa Raila au kukosoa serikali ulikuwa na hata uhuru akienda akifanya makosa kwa kupokwa kwa pesa kila mahali saa zingine bila mpangilio wote saa zingine anaongea mambo asali kuongea mbona haukuongea kwa nini saa hii ndio unaongea bitterness semeni bitterness bitterness na ninajua iko wapi na tunawaambia mjie kukasirika kasirikieni Kasiri kuchemka. On Sunday I am breaking and boiling pot. Mtaona nyungu imewekwa kwa mawe tatu na imewekwa machi inatokota. Na hiyo nyungu itapasuliwa. Hiyo nyungu iko wapi? Iko kwa maandiko. Tunafikisha hiyo ibada hapo. Hiyo Jumapili inayokuja nitakuwa na bendera mbili kanisani. Moja ya yellow na moja ya blue. Moja nitateremsha na nichome. Na nipasue ile nyungu. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Nitakuwa pia na mafuli ambao pia uko kwa Biblia unaofuia makabila yote na uchawi wao wasimuone Mungu. Au mafuli hiyo sitara ndiye nafuia mataifa isimwone Mungu tunafanya ukombozi ili watu wakiomba wamsikie Mungu amen ili watu wakimlelea Mungu machoshi nanga yanafika amen ili wakenya wakitumanyua baraka zao sikuje sifike amen asitasuliwa amen asitasuliwa amen if i was an angel i would not be gabriel i would be bika I'm the man in well, charge of the world. Pasha Kamus. Kwa hivyo wale wachungaji, 
Ese kitu ulikuwa unasema unajua Ruto mimi nasema serikali yako wakupigwa sababu unajua unapendwa au watu watakupindua unaona hii kamdomo kanashikana na wanasiasa na pia wale manambii wa uongo the same same time ndio wanatumia alafu wanasoma manambii wa uongo wanachua wana, wanasoma wanasoma maandiko unajua Yesu alisema hivi alipoulizwa siku ya kuja kwako kutakuwa na unakaa akaanza kusema kutainuka manambii wengi wa nini waongo hata wengine watakuja wakisema mimi ndiye masia mimi ndiye nani masia na ndio nakuta kwa ubiri mtu akitenda kamuujiza kamoja kanashindia kuonyeshwa kwa runinga kutoka januari mpaka lini na hakuna muujiza unatenda na nguvu zako na muujiza huwa audhimbikishi mtu wako na Mungu unajua shetani biblia inasema siku za mwisho hata watu wa shetani wata manabii wa uongo watakuwa na uwezo wa kuta moto unateremka kwa hivyo to do a miracle is not a message is not a confirmation that that man is a man of god so can you be careful the remnant church wherever you are be careful amen when the mnaki misana na mjisa eh kuna lazima watu waanguke wachapwe makofi nchini imepita pita pale amen it is not enough kuulizwa kuja hapa ndapo come nani patoneza unaitwa nani tetemeka kidogo unaitwa nani haya <laughs> paul kuja hapa paul kuja kuja mlo mlo kuja msimamo ni mwake kuja hapa <laughs> alafu unajua unajua kuandaa watu unasema unajua utaona roho ya nyoka ikifanya hivi utasikia roho ya ungo haya alinisema hivyo na washirika wa siku hizi wana wanadadilii wanaonywa roho ya ungo roho ya ungo <laughs> Unafikia roho ya Mungu? Na nyinyi jifanyeni mkichaa, ndio muonyesha pasta ako na nguvu, mkichungukana na yeye hivi. Roho ya Mungu. Roho ya Mungu. Kimsamehe kabisa naye. Kuja hapa tulia. Alafu no, anakuanza mpaka amegundisha. Sasa umekuta ina neema mchiza ninakuweka chini akisikia nakuweka chini kuja uende. Roho ya Mungu ninakuweka chini. Aya sasa alikuwa tayari ameambiwa unakuta anaambiwa hivi unakuta mara ya kwanza wa to ni toka ya masa mungu umeenda sasa haya hebu nuka eh hebu tuambie nasikiaje unasikiaje nasikiaje kwa sababu hii niko sawa ndio wao bili mjitamtie sifa Men are times when you come to me even if you are tired I will talk to you when you are seated there amen I will speak the word of God I will cancel issues amen I will declare health wellness and it will be done amen in Jesus name amen Mungu amen Alam kutoka pale kila tunaapi kila mwezi huyu mwana muona alikuwa na roho ya ungwa hebu wasikie wasikie bibi nilikuwa nimetumia mapepo ya mbwa na aposto akaniombea aki saa hii niko sawa wale mnaotaka kuombewa kuja ni kwa aposto na mtakuwa sawa biashara kanishara na maisha ya watu tunaona Yesu ni pale maandiko yanasema Mnachukua watu wangu mna wanasa na mitako ninasema masulumbumu wachawi walio kanisani na mnafahamu nguo na mnabeba bibilia ya Yesu ila maiti na imodolo kana kama katai njina la Yesu njina la Yesu kwa njina la Yesu sasa shida hapa kuna mawe maana hii ni silaha tumeweka Nikisema roho ya nyoka ndio kuna shida. Kuja. Tembea kama nyoka. Na maana naye anachua ibada ikiisha hata atanganjiwa kitu. Sema kuunganjiwa. Anatembea anatembea. Kesha anachua hapo kumeingia, hapo kumeingia, 
hapo kumeingia pasta akitoka pale parosa kaba Bwana asifiwe na ndio wale watu kuna watu walijaribu kuniambia mimi ni mchinga kuchengea mtoto yule kijana tumemchengea nyumba ya laki mbili na mtu na mtu wa wengine alikuwa ananiuliza pasta chungi chukoje pesa wewe uwendo unajua kuna njaa wendo huyu mtu anajivichia kwa kitu mahali eh hebu waambie tulichengea kijana laki mbili hii nyumba mnaona hii mchango mnaona imechukua by now shilingi milioni mbili na tunamshukuru kwa amen kwa nini yetu makofi amen ukimuulisha hiyo pesa imetoka wapi isipokuwa Mungu anyoshe mkono wake mimi sina vile hata nikiitwa na wale watu wanaulisanga tupatie hesabu ya mali yako ulipata pesa wapi ni kama wakati serikali inasema oh roho ya Mungu imetoka sasa kwenda lakini wewe ulikuwa sawa na utakuwa sawa tumekataa pia sala kanisa alafu washirika wanakuwa trend mtungaji naye unakuta na washirika wako na kautinga kekini hii roho ya ya ya, ya, ya kondo kuna pande moja ya kondo siipeti sana Ukiwekea kichipi kimoja, mmoja akiruka, wale wengine wanaruka. Ni yale maandiko iko wapi? Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 6. Inasema acha, kuna jambo la kutisha limefanywa katika nchi. Makuani na manabii wanatabiri wao. Na wale watu wanatabiriwa, wanaona hiyo iko saa, iko saa. Wale watu mlikuwa mnacheka mjisikia Mungu anakochoa mvua. Sasa hii ndio mko mbele. Mtusema tuombeeni mvua. Mungu alitukana mkisikia mkashangilia. Mkawa petekas, mesins, mbuzo wiki tupu. Wiki atanasis. 